Call the February meeting to order. Pledge of Allegiance. Get a motion to approve the January minutes. Make a motion to approve the January 24 minutes. I'll second that. Oh. All in favor? Aye. 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 Tre Treasurer's report. All right. Uh, Pam's got it up on the screen here, otherwise, it's on page three of your packet for our January 2024 financial statement. Um, in our checking account, we had a beginning balance of $97,754. Less our expenses of $7,488. Um, left a subtotal of $90,267. Then we had revenue additions of $18,046, um, giving us an ending balance in our checking of $108,312. Then our um, UBS asset accounts balance was $464,230, giving the township total assets of $572,542. And then moving down to the middle of the page, we've got our January summary um, expenses um, January 2024 compared to January 2023. We're up $954. The main driver of this um, was we paid a bill for excavating on Pioneer Road for $1,200 um, in January 2024, driving the expenses a little bit higher year over year. And then on our revenue, um, January 2024 revenue was um, about $4,000 less than January 2023 revenue. And there was kind of two different um, timing items. So in January of 2023, we had the gravel and fuel tax payment come in from the county. And then this year that's going to hit in February instead of January. And then vice versa on the snow and ice um, reimbursement from Washington County for County Road 75. Um, we received $13,000 of revenue from the county um, or reimbursement from the county for that in January 2024, whereas last year we received that in February. So just kind of two different timing items that are offsetting a little bit there. And then if we scroll down to the bottom section, um, I'll just kind of go all the way to the bottom. Our year to date, just for January surplus, um, we're about $10,000 better. So we um, have $10,000 more in revenue than we have in expenses um, just for the month of January. And we'll continue to track that um, as the year progresses. Any questions for me? Uh -uh. I'll make a motion to accept the treasurer's report. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pay the bills? <clears throat> well, I'll make a motion to pay bills 22 through 36 for $6,970.13. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any questions? No. Okay, just a reminder, if anyone wants to speak when we get into this stuff, come up to the mic, please. <clears throat> um, John, we'll start with you. S-H-S-E-H. Sorry, we have a S-H-C that we work with. That's all right. We have uh, everybody use the mic, because when she does the minutes, she listens to them at home. Oh, yeah. hard to hear, so. Okay. That's just fine. I'm very accustomed to using the mic, so. Um, good evening, um, members of the board and those here in attendance. Uh, my name, again, is John Perotti with S-E-H. SEH is a uh, uh, consulting engineering firm uh, here in the Twin Cities and in the Upper Midwest. Uh, with me is Zach Rainier, who is a uh, project engineer, uh, helped me prepare the, uh, the proposal document that you should have in your packet this evening. And, um, and so with that, uh, why don't I just kind of walk through. It's not in the packet, it is up on the board though. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, do the board members at least have copies, yeah. right? Is that, or at least they have? Yeah, we got In the copy. past, yeah, yeah. okay. That's the one you gave us the other night? Yes, sir, okay. yes, sir, it is. Right. So um, the proposal is essentially a four-page document, depending on how you printed it, it might be on two pages, pieces of paper. Uh, essentially, um, by by way of background, um, Zach and I met with, uh, with uh, Dan here early in January at his request. Um, to look at Pioneer Road um, and uh, for purposes of assessing its condition and what engineering services 
we could provide to assist the town in soliciting quotes or uh, soliciting bids for uh, the reconstruction of the paved portion of Pioneer Road. And that's essentially from kind of that split connection, uh, split intersection down on the very south end to where it then transitions to gravel. So that's the limits of the project. If I'm remembering correctly, it's somewhere around 2,800 feet. It should be stated there in the, um, in the opening paragraphs. Uh, as, a, as a step for, partly for us, but also a courtesy for you, we do our own preliminary cost estimate on what we think a project like that might cost. Um, and we present that number in the second paragraph there at $270,000. Um, I always like to point out that at this stage, we're actually not being paid by the town to provide any of this information yet. So I would caution that it's a very preliminary estimate. It's based on our experience with similar projects and our understanding of your project. And so we do the best we can to estimate that based on that information. That $270,000 is intended to, cut, to represent the estimated cost for your project, all inclusive. So it would be the con contractor's costs, uh, the engineering, the bidding and advertising, the preliminary geotechnical investigation, if you will, soil borings. So it's meant to include everything. And so that's, the, that's kind of a truth check for us and for you. Um, if, if you don't have budget for $270,000, we'd advise you maybe take a pause and see if there's a way to modify the project and or uh, you know, generate the funds needed to do a project like this. So that's, uh, and then our, our, uh, our uh, um, description of our understanding then is in the following section. Uh, project background and understanding. I've covered, I think, most of that here, but I will go on. I'll go on to say that it's our understanding that we that the town would like to essentially uh, pulverize and pave the existing asphalt surface, and then uh, where where it will fit, um, construct two foot gravel shoulders on both sides of the road. Uh, there may be some locations where that could be a little tough to do, just given that there's some maybe a ditching or something a little close to the road. Uh, we will fit it wherever, wherever we can without, um, you know, getting into additional costs that wouldn't otherwise be desirable by the town. Uh, match existing driveways and, um, and it would be paved in with two lifts. Um, and then, uh, like I said, the gravel shoulders would, be, would go on after that. Um, below that, there's the section of scope of services. You'll see there that, uh, boy, I really appreciate, by the way, that you have this up on the screen because without it, I would need to have my glasses on and off, and this is awesome. Pretty <laughs> so, advanced tech around. Yeah, yeah no, that's aw that is absolutely awesome, and a lot of times it's behind me, and I'm having to turn oh. around, too, so the position of that you is perfect. You can move closer to it, too. If you that's all right. Ahead. This is working great. This is working great. Um, so the services that we would normally provide on a project like this are, are proposed here uh, would be preliminary topographic surveys. So we'd have a survey crew out here for part of a day, um, taking survey shots both sides of the road. And then what we say is one, sh one shot beyond the road, but essentially through the ditch and back up to the other side. Um, we are going to coordinate soil borings. I'll point out to you that uh, we currently estimate that at about $4,000, but we would have you contract directly with a soil boring company. So when I say, when we say coordinate, uh, what we would do f as a first step there is to solicit quotes from at least three uh, uh, soil boring contractors and then bring those results to you for your approval. You would contract directly with them. And then we would also uh, indicate to the boring companies where the borings would be and how deep we want them. Uh, based on our understanding of the project. Uh, then we would do a design of the proposed improvements, uh, prepare construction documents and, uh, and contract and bidding documents. We would, on your behalf, um, place an ad in your official newspaper three weeks ahead of the bid opening, and then uh, distribute bid documents. This is all done online now. Um, we use a service called uh, Quest CDN, which is, is the most common uh, serv service in this area for that sort of thing. The contractors all are, are members of this. And uh, so we use that to distribute the documents to the bidders. We will conduct the bid opening. And, and this, is, this can be done at your preference. Uh, used to be before COVID, we always did those in person at your town hall. 
Um, but lately, we've been doing them uh, virtually. And so if you don't mind a virtual bid opening, that's how we would prefer to do it. If you'd rather do it in person, we can schedule a time with your clerk where you could do it here at Town Hall. Um, and then we would uh, tabulate and evaluate the bids and then bring a report back to you at, your, at, at the following town board meeting and we'll present the bids to you, the contractor's bids, and your options for awarding. Next month? No. Sorry? No. no. When? That'll be well, later on. It would be af after um, the design and everything is complete. So sometime probably early summer, May, June yep. time frame. I, on the next page I have, uh, let's see, bid opening in, well, so I'm just using summer here because we're so early that we do need to pin some of these dates down, but let's say May or June. Okay. Okay. And um, then if you could go to the next page. Yeah, so um, I do note at the top paragraph there that uh, at that time when we present the bids to you, we will also then provide you with an estimate of construction engineering services through SEH. And uh, we don't typically like to do that at this stage because depending on what contract you get and what the final improvements are, that can vary a little bit on what our costs might be for that stage of the project. So we prefer to wait uh, to that point. We would present you with a proposal. So you would at that time consider whether or not you want to contract with a contractor and award that. And then you would also consider whether or not you'd like to contract with SEH for construction administration services. That involves some inspection, construction staking, that sort of thing, yep. and coordinating with the contractor and you, working as your liaison, essentially. Yep. Okay. And uh, there's a schedule provided. Um, <clears throat> again, there's, it's kind of a loose schedule, but uh, we, do, we do think you can get this thing uh, bid out and constructed this season. Um, if we get into a, a bidding climate window that isn't favorable, you would always have the option of rejecting all bids and rebidding for next year or re changing the project and rebidding or some other thing. Um, so if for some reason we don't get bids that you like, you can always reject them all and put the plans on the shelf for another season. Uh, the estimated cost for, for SEH's service, uh, services through bidding, um, or through award maybe I should say, is $19,985 for the services that I described. So with that, um, I just want to, Zach, is there anything that I missed that you think is important here? Okay, with that, then I would just open for questions. Okay, we had another, <clears throat> me and Dan. Oh, he's got a question there. Yeah. Yeah, then it's easier for Pam to take the minutes. If I don't catch it tonight, I can catch it on yeah. Facebook. Yeah. I'm uh, Tracy Moe. I live on 99th Street at the end of it. Uh, I'm wondering uh, what your percentage of engineering is. You have the cost. Uh, what it could be calculated what it is, I think, but what is your percentage? Yeah. So we don't really use a percentage to arrive at our cost. Um, I would be guessing without my calculator, uh, 8%. <laughs> is that, it's just under 20,000 and we estimated the total project cost at 270. I don't know, do you have a calculator handy or do you know, Zach? It's somewhere around 8 Somewhere around 8%. Okay, then me and Dan were talking <clears throat> earlier tonight. We got another road right, right across the street from us, 99th Street. Mm -hmm. And here's what we're thinking. Any of our other roads, we know are too much money for us to do two projects. Okay, but this one isn't in good shape either. So here's what we thought. As long as we're getting the borings done over <coughs> there, it wouldn't be much different to come over here, and this road's pretty short. Do borings here. Sure. And then have you guys engineer and draw that out at the same time and have it bid out okay but keep it as two separate bids okay and granted if we didn't take i would just put it if we didn't take that bid it don't sit there and well, we'll do it six months from now they'd be done together okay follow what i'm talking about that you know because if if this comes back at a decent price and we got enough money left we'd consider doing this road at the same time gotcha okay 
Does that make so sense? we're yeah. So we're thinking maybe why the boring people are out here. It's probably most cost effect just to bore all our roads. Yeah. The the ones coming up in the near future. Yep. And then maybe get a price to engineer out 99th Street. Sure. On top of this, but then maybe we would try bidding them together. Why you know maybe we can get a good price, maybe not. Just see where things are at. But yeah. Sure. So maybe we can get a sidebar price to add. You know, have you guys look at 99th and just see what you know that looks like. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I think the couple of things that I recommend you do uh, um, to get that done then is, uh, I think it's a great thought to do the soil boards all at once, because yeah. you're absolutely right. Once you've mobilized to your town, to if you want, you might as well do them. And yeah, there might be two on this road and five on the other, or whatever, yeah. depending on the length. So that's easy enough to do. Uh, the other one that you may want to do while we're in town is the surveys. Now, I'd have to provide an additional scope for that, yeah, but that, that's what Dan's but I think what I for. I think what I'd be comfortable with if if you all would be is it, to get things going after, if you want to get things going bef yep. between now and your next meeting for instance yeah. you'll have to approve this okay. tonight okay and I would be agreeable to um, having our surveyor come out and do both roads even though they're not included in this scope okay. we'll amend the scope at your next meeting to include okay. that street the way you'd like to and okay. um and what i'd suggest is that for bidding purposes we bid both on the same project at the same time yeah. with did you say 99th is that yeah, the name 99th. of this one here yeah 99th be it yeah be it yeah. an alternate yeah so you'd have a base bid which yeah. would be Pioneer, yep. and then you'd have an alternate, which would be 99th. Yep. And if those two combined prices are to your liking and you have funding, then you could award the whole thing. And yep. if you don't, then you just don't award the alternate. Right. And then you've got the engineering plans on the shelf for when you do want to do it. You don't have to pay for that again. That is our intention. You, yeah. You'd have a little cost. Well, yeah. it's probably shorter, so you might even be well under your 175 bidding, okay. so you could solicit bids later. You know, if it's next year or whatever, you just well, as long as we got the, you know, the borings are done, the engineering. We want the borings done, the engineering done. You know, that way, if say we didn't do it this year, we did it two years from now, we can say, well, well, we'd probably end up calling you guys back. Well, we did this part. We just plans won't change. <laughs> the plans won't change, yeah, yeah. Um, and the only thing that really would is, you know, dates and things that are, yeah. you know, and you know, not that it happens that often, but if a state law changed about your contracting. Yeah. You know, that would, but yeah. that, that doesn't happen that often. Yeah. And in a sense, it's a much smaller piece. You wouldn't have to likely go through the public bidding for that Why smaller piece. Why not have piece. to for yeah. that, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, that makes me happy. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I answered a lot of questions yesterday and stuff. I don't know if there's any well, other you questions. You said to vote on this, make a motion to accept it? Yeah. I just had one clarifying oh, question. Yes. Here we go. Uh, Hello uh, and new business. Yeah. Well, Let's we can do it now, now can't we? Yeah. You can do it now. I'll just... Yeah, then my, they don't have to sit here. Yeah, my no, clarifying question was just the, the roughly twenty thousand dollars for your um, SCH fee. Is that included in the potential, like the the estimate of the two seventy? I know that correct. Can change, but that's included. It's a piece okay. of the two seventy, right? Okay. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And the two seventy isn't fixed in stone. Correct. That's just yep. No, it's budgeting numbers, estimate. but yep. yep. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a fixed number. It's not so if it if ends up being three hundred, that number doesn't climb. Yeah. For yeah. this design services, we're proposing to do that yeah. as a lump yep. sum. Um, How much more do you think the design yeah, services lump sum. will be to include this street? Okay, uh, from the hip. I, yeah. I don't know the street, so I haven't driven it yet. I'm at oh. a little bit of a disadvantage. But yeah. if the one that we're doing now is 200 or 2,800 feet, how long would you guess this one is? We should have it. Oh, it's a quarter it's, of that. It's one quarter mile. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just ask a resident. It's a quarter mile. So it's half, roughly half then. Um, yeah. It's going to be, it'll be, it'll be less than 10,000. Let's just say it's. Uh, you're not going to hold me to this until no, I no, estimate no, it, but no, I'm going to no, guess. No. I know yeah. I'm on a camera and everything, yeah. which makes me nervous. But uh, uh, let's just say that for budgeting mind. services, another seven thousand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know for sure. We'll put an honest number. Whatever. To that, whatever it is, it is. We want to get it done. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. I'll make a motion to accept their. What is it? S S C H is. Yeah, we got an SCH, SCH we deal with. Ever, yeah, yep. I'll make a motion to accept uh, SCH's uh, proposal for the 
paving a pioneer road. I'll second that. Got a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Well, thank okay. you. We're looking forward to working for, working with you yeah. and working for you. Yeah. Um, we'll come back next month with that. Con essentially, what we'll do is we'll continue. We'll prepare this as a contract. Okay. Um, for signatures, and I is it usually your chair who signs contracts, or who who normally signs contracts? We have a plate, so we'll send yeah. over a contract for okay. signature based on your approval tonight. Okay. And then we'll prepare a contract amendment for adding 99th yeah, and bring and that, that back okay. to your uh, March meeting. Or send it with the contract for, how do you want to do that? Should she just send it back with I the other one? Either way, because it'll get rolling anyway. Once you get that number, you can. I'll send get it, it over rolling, and then what I'd be more most comfortable with, since you're you don't you don't have an attorney here yeah. to represent you, I'd be most comfortable bring, sending back the amendment to your next meeting for yeah. you to consider. Yep. Since I was shooting from the hit with seven thousand yeah. dollars yeah. or whatever I said now yeah. seventy five. I think you said you thirty five hundred. Well, you we, think I said thirty five hundred? <laughs> well, we get it. We, we have it on camera. Yeah. Here, okay. so. well, we, if we wait a month, then we'll, that'd be soon enough. Yeah, that'd be fine because we're going to go ahead and roll with the first steps. With the boring. With the understanding that. that we've discussed here tonight. Okay. We're going to do a few things that are a little outside the scope. We'll cover them with that okay. amendment. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm comfortable. I mean, they're going to fill well within the amount that you've already okay. approved. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. If that's okay with, that's, uh, with you all. Just, yeah, send anything you get to the clerk. And and we'll do. Is yep. it okay with you guys if I sign the uh, contract? Yep. Yeah. Yep. You guys yeah. agree with that? Yeah, okay. as long as we approved it, you can sign it. Okay. That sounds so good. Just signs all our checks anyway. Okay. <laughs> Ours bounce. Hopefully yours doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She gives us any good. Month. Uh, and are you, we, uh, we can do, we do, we have been doing DocuSign lately. Do you do that at all? Yeah. You comfortable with that? Awesome. That's that. great. Then we'll do that, and we'll get we'll get that rolling right away. Appreciate okay. your time. Well, thank, thank, you. You, thank you very you. much. Yep. Yep. All right, we'll, we'll be in touch. Look forward to seeing you again next month. Yep. Okay. Thanks. All we'll right. Snow next time, though, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, you can leave if you want. You guys, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest yeah. Of this well, thank you. Thank you so much. We moved you to the front. Okay. Appreciate that. Um, we've got reports, planning commission. Uh, yeah. um, no one's. Um, you want to do a Pam, or you want me to hit it quick? No, go ahead. You can run through quick. See if I can. Can you guys well, hear, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? I was just going to get uh, over here. So, uh, Eduardo uh, couldn't be here, and Amy's here from the Planning Commission, but she wasn't at the meeting, so she doesn't feel comfortable uh, nope. giving a report. <laughs> so, I'm just going to read uh, pretty much verbatim what uh, Eduardo said. Okay. Um, so, uh, from the Planning Commission reporting perspective, these are the items that can be advanced to you guys. Um, they met on 212, had a quorum, three primary agenda items, provide input to engineering service quote for Pioneer Road Project. Planning Commission took no direct action but supports this consultative service. Uh, review of proposed zoning ordinance. Commission will do further offline review and coordinate any suggestions, edits, questions via the clerk. Board should consider whether or not legal review is needed. Uh, board should consider whether or not a hearing may be required at a zoning at a zoning ordinance completion time. And they also reviewed Tucker Ender's deck permit application and related documents. By the way, he did, uh, Tucker did give me and I sent it to all the board members and the planning commission the deck dimensions and the dimensions of the Oh, we got Property. The, all the dimensions we asked for? Yes, okay. it's in your email. Um, commission suggests this permit for approval, assuming updated plot drawings are made available, and they were. Commission reminded applicant that these steps needed to be done prior to starting a project. Inspection process to follow with relevant inspection party. And he hopes that will suffice. I think it did. Yeah, thank you. Next town board meeting is Wednesday, March 8th at 7 o'clock. The next planning commission meeting is Monday, March 17th at 6.30 p.m. Am I looking at this wrong? I think we got the wrong dates on that. What do I got? <laughs> I'm just I think it should be March 11th and the 13th. Yeah, those dates are definitely a little far apart. <laughs> Did I get them wrong? Okay. Yeah. What's the date? Town board meeting will be March 13th. Yep. Oh, I had to mix up. Planning commission meeting will be Monday, March 11th. She was looking at 2027. I don't know what the heck date I was looking at. <laughs> Perfect. Those are is wrong. The, 
Is the annual meeting uh, correct at March 12th, Tuesday? Annual meeting is March 12th. At 7 p.m. That's a Friday. No. <laughs> Dick, March 12th. Oh, March 12th, okay. <laughs> okay, so the planning commission would be the 11th, sorry yep. about that. And the town board is the 13th. An annual meeting, March 12th, 7 p.m. An annual March 12th. What was the... Town oh, board meeting. Thirteen. Thirteen. It's gonna be a busy week. It is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Bam. Dick, all right. Dan, we, are you gonna make it? Huh? You gonna make all of them? That's district playoffs. We'll see. The rules, the planning commission. Eleventh. Six thirty. Voting for the uh, presidential nomination primary will occur Tuesday, March 5th at the town hall between 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. Any other, I don't think there was any other meetings? Good, no. committees? No. All right, update of Ordinance 49. Uh, the Planning Commission did meet, had a lot of good, uh, good input, that things rolling along nice. I would think after next month, we'll hopefully have something together to be able to kick back to the community. I don't know if you want to talk about We probably should have a public hearing on that again. We'll have to. I was thinking on that public hearing. I don't know how you want to do that, but I'm not really interested in sitting and going through the whole thing like we did the other night. Most municipalities, when they have a public hearing on something, yeah, it's their job to the read. document is listed. She would advertise it, that we're having it. And it'll say contact a clerk for it or see where to see it or go to the website. And the people read the thing before they get there. And the reason for the public hearing is to ask questions. I would agree with that. Not sit and go so for do, do we have to have the public meeting since we've already had one? We, and can we, I think make, it'd be can, we can this happen at a regular town board meeting? And I think we need more time than that. Okay. So uh, we, do we can probably meeting. do it on a town board night and then just have it, yeah. We would so be half hour early just because it'll just be questions. But I think we want a hearing just because we wouldn't want to approve it if people have legally. Okay, so legally, we wouldn't have to because we already did. But we're just thinking because we made we want to give the we made changes residents a lot pretty pretty big changes from after we got it back from Dave Snyder. So should we set a date, or should we Let's wait just, and see yeah. what happens next month? Because Let's wait and see what happens. We're next not quite month. there yet. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, update on Moe's property. Dick, do you want to talk on that? Well, I drove by there today, and he's made quite a bit of headway from what I can see. He's got a long way to go, I can see, but in my, in my opinion, I'm happy with the progress he's making. Uh, you know, up until this point, there wasn't a whole lot of progress being made. But somewhere along the line, somebody decided to clean the place up and I just got a question for you I'll, you don't have to come up to the mic we got them receipts and one was for a roofing guy was he the guy that hauled all the trash away that's what I'm guessing yes. yeah I don't you didn't bring in as much on scrap as you spent hauling junk out though did you all the loss. yeah you got way more lost no I, I drove by I'm happy with what he's done he's done quite a bit just keep up the work and like I said just keep showing us just keep showing us progress you know, we'll be we'll be driving by monthly before the meeting, so keep did keep heading get, in the right direction. Uh, did you guys want him to speak to their plan? You had asked him to you, come up with a plan I, this night. I don't. Do you have anything I, I, substantial I don't. besides? Yeah. As long as his plan is to keep doing what he's doing, the last month anyway. <laughs> uh, well, I got some comments too that. Um, some of the things Get closer like your, to the mic so they can hear your um, inspector came out and uh, I had mentioned one time before he took a picture where I spread out some gravel for the dumpster or the um, uh, truck with the dump trailer so it's not mud to get out of and you get stuck pulling out um, there was a letter sent to me that I was planning on some road which was totally false this is, do you have updated stuff because we've already heard this that's yeah, I, I want to make a statement that your oh, we've, inspector we've is doing things and taking pictures, like a truck that I used to haul a is trailer that just with. this month? And, and then it looks like there's something wrong when there's not. 
Is that and, this month or not? Um, the, the pictures that were taken were all taken care of. Yeah. Um, I think that's all old stuff. Yeah, maybe we could um, highlight the things that have been done. The inspector came out, unfortunately, and, and saw what he saw before we implemented our plan, which was my dad had hired a crew of 12 guys, came yeah. for four days, and yeah. they worked hard, really hard. And like you said, we, we spent a lot in, uh, we didn't get a lot in scrap, but we spent a lot in debris <laughs> removal, so even though the, both numbers were high. But um, the only uh, exception to the original plan that we submitted, our original plan of action um, in the phase one is complete, phase two is complete with the exception of um, the storage sheds and an F-250. So. <laughs> um, Could you get into the mic a little bit more? Oh, sorry. yep. Well, that's about it. really all I've got, yeah. You might so, say who we are, too. So, um, so you have phase one, phase two, what are those phases? Oh, um, that was on the outline that I had submitted probably over a year ago now. Yeah. Oh, from that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're referring to that. So okay. we haven't drawn up any formal um, plan of action, but I think the labor intensiveness of it, this all is just about as much as he can take. <laughs> just celebrated his 80th birthday, so. Ooh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> well, we, we appreciate the progress this month, and we're going to keep keeping an eye on it. Hopefully, we don't I'm, I'm have to I'm glad that out, you so. did get down there today. Yeah. Well, Thanks, it Mo. should snow should be uh, gone on Sunday, so I'd like to come on down and look at it, too. Uh, I had one other thing to say that uh, my son, my daughter, uh, I have a couple boats. They're licensed and they're legal. And uh, when you get pictures taken from a distance and there's no interpretation, it looks like there's something wrong and you see the pictures but since there's nothing wrong I'm going to state that they're going to stay there until spring when they're used um, yep. so if you drive by we, and see we them had, we had people from International Space Station tell us they were <laughs> looking down <laughs> taking pictures and was wondering if we were running a scrapyard down there well there's no. about <laughs> five less boats now uh, that were part of that scrapping I tried to give them away over the winter, but this isn't a boating season, so <laughs> didn't have much luck, uh, so it cost to get rid of those. No, Tracy, I, I yeah. speak for myself. I'm happy as long as you keep making progress, and to me, to show you're making progress is, just like you've done, receipts to show that junk is leaving, not coming in, you know. Like I said, we're, we're, we're happy with that. Just okay. keep moving along. Just, Okay, I'm glad you're happy. It doesn't. Well, you'd know if we weren't. Doesn't look real apparent, but you say you are, so. Uh, <laughs> Take, call happy. it a win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I think that I'd like to um, ask you we aren't going to send the code officer out to take pictures um, anytime soon, but if, if it ever came to that, would it be okay if we coordinated it with you oh, yeah, so I that he could be. come on your property and see that there's tabs on this and this and this and that yeah. instead of trying to take pictures from afar, which, you know, that's what he has to do unless he has your permission to go on your property. But could we coordinate that with you if need be? We, we're, we don't see a need right now. Okay, but I did um, send you close-up pictures where it shows a boat license for 24, a trailer, lifetime license and so in my opinion some of the uh inspection pictures were misleading well we'll get, could, could, we'll get, could we'll well get close been, we'll get yeah. a couple months here or whatever and we'll get yeah. close and then we'll hash out some small stuff okay good personal. enough so all right thanks tracy yeah. roadway limits that was probably me uh, you know we talked so about was. trying to put a restriction on Great Cloud Just Trail. Direction of travel, yep. And I, I found out two things. Uh, the manager down here from Wholesome, he, he told me they've got two signs ordered, one for Larson plant to turn left when they leave, and he said they also had another one ordered. I asked him about the other plant, and he said Tom had him order a sign down there to go across the bridge, not come this way. Okay. And, you know, I got to believe, usually they've been fairly honest with this other permitting uh, that that'll probably be done 
and I've been trying to find out how we would put a roadway limit on that and not getting any answers from anybody. It's almost like if you want to put a road limit on it, you, you need some justification. We can't just plop a sign down and say, five ton road, stay off. That don't work. And we did get, you guys might have seen it, a letter back from the county and asked, I think it was from them, asked them how you go about it. And they basically said you'd hire somebody like Braun Engineering to come out and they had like a thumper truck that they drop a big weight on it see how much the road moves and then do some engineering calculations and say okay this is a seven ton nine ton five ton whatever it is and I have I'm just guessing that's probably a seven thousand dollar bill yeah. more I, I, you know just guessing so hopefully the I'm, signs will do yeah because I think Eric was all concerned yeah. about trucks going by well, you know, people got to realize you can't just keep the trucks from going by. Yep. Example, I was talking to Keith Frankie in St. Paul Park. They'd love to not have Wholesome's trucks and everybody else's going through St. Paul Park. But you can't just throw a sign up and uh, do that. Well, then I went up to Newport, talked to Kevin Chapelain, because if you notice, when you leave the refinery down there, they have a sign, no trucks over 10,000 pounds from the refinery going north. And he said, well, that was pretty much worked out when they did that overpass and all that construction in St. Paul Park that all the agreements were them trucks from the refinery will go through St. Paul Park and not through Newport. That was a little different deal there. So my suggestion is very much we can do unless we want to spend whatever somebody would charge us to test that road. And I'm guessing that test would come back. It's probably, probably there anyway. <laughs> yeah, what we're getting. So I'd say probably leave it alone for now and trust what Yep. Like I see it's the plan manager that told me the signs were going up. That should help a lot anyway. Yeah, so. All right. Any other unfinished business? I have just one. Yep. Uh, last month, you guys had asked me if, uh, if I would contact our state legislator <coughs> regarding uh, why are we publishing things in the newspapers when the newspaper usage is really, really down? Why isn't it in a maybe a uh, more... Uh, online place yeah. under Washington County or whatever the county was. Anyway, I just wanted to say that, yeah, I sent the email out the next day to our legislature and have had crickets in return. To Rick so or who? I, I asked him about that when I when I seen him one of the times. It's state law. Yeah, it is a state law, yeah, definitely. Yeah, state laws. Today they have to change the state law. Sue yeah. Vento, remember she yep. said, I don't know why that yeah. they uh, are continue to have to do it in the newspaper. Why isn't it just in a central place where people could go look for that stuff, for yeah. publishing, for public to public notices? But anyway, uh, I, I will keep throwing out the emails, but yeah. I'm not sure I'm going to be hearing back from them. No. It's probably low on the board. The press, the press, people, law, have, the press right people have lobbyists. Yeah, yeah big ones. <clears throat> All right, new business. Uh, the SCH is taken care of. Um, appointment of Sandy Hastings as election judge. Yeah, we need a motion. You need, does need it a motion. matter who it comes from? I, I'll motion to appoint Sandy Hastings as election judge. Well, I'll, I'll yeah. second. Okay. All in, well, All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, need a motion to approve Tucker's permit. I'll make a motion to approve Tucker's permit. Second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any other new business? The only thing I had is we got a thing from the South Washington County Watershed. We're going to keep yeah. you here well. No. And did you guys read it at all? Did you yeah. see the Is that email? what just came in that email? Yeah. Yeah, and I was wondering if there's no big hurry on it. Well, we got to respond by April 19th. So we got time, but we should look at that and maybe, I, you know, I want to go to this website, so you just put our channel on their agenda, if, if it's possible. Yeah. You know, Hannah got to put on there to open it up and fill it with sediment. Maybe we can get it on there to remove the sediment. <laughs> so this, we'll look at that this that's, month. We'll look yeah. at that in the next that's month. The Corps of Engineers. No, the core won't come off the river. The core is only concerned about the nine foot navigation oh. channel. Okay. That's all. Number ten. Then. Nothing else. Yeah. Make a motion to adjourn. Second that. We got a vote on it. Say all in favor. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Aye.